sometimes you get more than what you pay for. And this Neutrox 28mm f1.8 is exactly that. <music> It's Jimmy Chang here from Red35. Today, I'm looking at Viewtrox 28mm f1.8 for Nikon Z cameras. I have waited a couple of months to review this lens from Viewtrox, only because I want to test it on both my APS-C Nikon ZFC and the full-frame Nikon ZF. And because the Z has been a seller camera for Nikon since its announcement, plus my recent trip to Hong Kong, I didn't get to use my ZF with this lens until only a couple of months ago. But here I am looking at Viewtrox's new fast wide angle prime, the 28mm f1.8. And I didn't waste any time after unboxing it, and I've been shooting with this lens almost every day for the past two months. And here's my findings. For those who haven't seen my previous Viewtrox 75mm DX lens review, the link is up here. But if you have, then you know what I'm about to say because this 28mm has the same build quality as the 75. The lens has a very modern and minimalistic design that cover with metal, that is cold to touch. For those who are accustomed to consumer lenses from any other brands will definitely feel that. And this view chalk is a step up to the pro level build quality, just without the pro badge or the price. The focus ring is very smooth and well damped, but it is one of those, <laughs> well, infinity ring that spins forever. Aperture ring has a very high resistance that requires some force to turn. But I would say that it is needed as the ring has no click stop. Means that you need some stiffness to make sure that you won't accidentally change the setting. Anyway, I can't complain about the build quality of the Viewtrox 28mm f1.8. It feels premium and expensive. The Viewtrox 28mm f1.8 is a full frame lens. Yet, it is pretty compact and light for what it is. While it feels okay on my full frame ZF, the lens does feel a little bit front heavy on the smaller and lighter ZFC. But if you're already in the Nikon ecosystem and have both, I would recommend reserving the Viewtrox 28mm 1.8 for full frame cameras and use smaller prime lenses such as the TT Artisan 27mm 2.8 or Nikon's own 28mm f2.8 on the crop sensor cameras. In other words, perfect for full frame cameras, but just a little bit heavy and B for APS-C cameras. The design of the Viewtrox 28mm 1.8 is very modern. Industrial and minimalistic approach is very Sony-like. The inclusion of the aperture ring is definitely a plus though for photographers who enjoy a little bit of a physical control on the lens. And this fits very well with that retro style looking ZF or even the ZFC. And personally, I think more manufacturers should bring back the aperture rings on their lenses. So, we have more physical control when it comes to exposure triangle adjustments. Viewtrox has become my favorite for AF-enabled Chinese lenses lately. And all the lenses I've tested are high quality in both build and optical. So far, Viewtrox hasn't skimmed anything to make their lenses stand out. With 11 elements in 9 groups, including 2 aspherical and 3 ED elements, the lens produced sharp images. Let's have a look at my brick wall to see for yourself. As you can see, the lens performs very well at 1.8 in the center, with only a slight hint of halo and a little bit less contrast, but gets extremely sharp by 2.8, and continues all the way to f8 until you start noticing some diffraction at f11. 
Edge performance is also excellent. At 1.8, it shows great contrast and resolving power. But if you want pin sharp details, stop down to 2.8. Peak achieved at 5.6 before diffraction comes in at f16. So overall, this is a sharp lens that can resolve details. Viewtrop uses a new optical formula for the 28mm, and it shows. The rendering of the lens is definitely more modern than most Chinese lenses I've tested in the past. It's not clinical like some other Japanese lenses, but closer to what we've seen in recent years. And this perhaps a plus point for photographers who don't want to see images being too digital, too clinical, yet still want the lens to have the power to resolve details. In short, it carries just a little bit of that vintage elements in the rendering. And if you get close to your subject, you can actually get separation. And the bokeh, well, I would say that it's a little bit, yeah, vintage looking, very lovely. <laughs> That's just without all those halo and smearing in some of the cheaper lenses that I've seen in the past. So this is certainly very interesting. The three separate ED elements did a pretty good job in reducing chromatic aberrations in high contrast scenes. I found little to none in the images that I made. But Vignes is pretty severe and very pronounced between 1.8 and 2.8. Things will look better from f4. However, let's not forgetting that this is an optical light fall off and there's currently no lens profile in the camera to correct any vignetting. Pin cushion distortion is visible at the outer edges of the frame with this Viltros 28mm 1.8. But because it's a partial distortion, that makes it hard to correct in post. You either over or under correct the center section of the frame. Lightroom has a profile that corrects the light fall off at the edges, but over corrects the center, makes the images look worse than they look. So my recommendation is not to correct the distortion and only for vignette. And because of this reason, I wouldn't recommend using this lens to shoot anything with lots of straight line in the frame, such as building interior or anything with line patterns. However, you will be fine if you use this lens on APS-C cameras because it crops out the outer edges. Viewtrox is leading away the AF performance chart amongst Chinese lens manufacturers. At present, I haven't tested any other Chinese AF lenses that are faster, quieter, and more compatible than Viewtrox. And this is a testament to the years of experience in making them. With that said, the AF performance is great on Nikon Z cameras. It works in almost with the ZF to offer. Subject recognitions, eye, face focus, even 3D trackings without any hiccups. While it may not have the fastest AF speed, but it is definitely fast enough for 95% of the cases in real use. If you intend to use this Viltrox 28mm 1.84 video, you will be happy to see that breathing isn't particularly visible in this case. The drive-by-y aperture ring is clickless, if not a little stiff. But I'm not sure if you want to use any gear ring with this lens though, because the ribs on both the focus and aperture rings are pretty shallow. So there may not be enough friction for the gear ring to work properly when you use a follow focus module. Therefore, I would just stay with auto everything with this lens. I'm going straight to my verdict. If you have a Sony E or Nikon Z full frame camera, the Viltrox 28mm f1.8 is a no brainer. A great performer for the price and there isn't anything close to compete. And I'm not even saying for photographers on the budget, but also to experienced amateur and even professionals. The cost saving is so significant that I can't ignore, but to give full marks to the lens. Viltrox has mastered the AF for modern digital mirrorless cameras. And what I'm hoping to see is more support for other formats and brands, such as my beloved Michael Four Thirds, for instance. Another thing I'm waiting from Viltrox is some ultra-fast Aperture Pro lenses for full-frame cameras. And perhaps, maybe even a zoom lens? Anyway, I'm thoroughly enjoying Viltrox AF lenses, and I hope this will continue and bring us photographers more affordable and performing choices. And have you used any of the other lenses? Let me know in the comment section below about your experience and your thoughts about them as well. Anyway, you know what to do now. Thumb if you like this video and sub if you want to stay in touch with all things photography and filmmaking. <laughs> Peace out.
Welcome to the bonus sections. And what do you think about Viewtrox 28 millimeters 1.8? I think is awesome. And uh, the only thing I would like to see, obviously they will make something for the MFT, of, of course, you know, you know, I use a lot of MFT cameras, so I would like to see some MFT options from them. But at the meantime, you know, I'm not complaining at all because this is good. And uh, I have both the APS-C Nikon lens and also uh, the full frame ZF. So I can use the lenses on any of these cameras here and, and it's good enough for me. But what's important is that they have somehow managed to, you know, incorporate the aperture ring on these lenses so uh, for all the cameras so that's very very good because like i said uh most of the time would agree with me that they all want aperture rings on the lens and somehow it disappeared when automation become a norm you know canon get, got rid of them nikon got rid of them you know literally everybody apart from fujifilm and sony is starting getting them back now uh so it's a good sign but at least viewtrot is making them that is compatible with not only x uh, x cameras like fuji but also for nikon and sony cameras so it is very, very good. And for that, I really like them. Uh, like I said, price is good. So like, you can't really go wrong with them just yet. Uh, I mean, obviously it's not a really long-term thing. I haven't used them for years. So I can't really tell you the longevity of these lenses compared to like mainstream. Because I know if you got better buy an MG Core Pro lens, like or live from Olympus OM system, or maybe buying a Nick Core lens, the high-end ones, they will last you for like 10, 20 years. Uh, so time will tell whether these will be that good in just long lasting longevity and durability uh, but seriously for that price even if it breaks in five six years time just get another one <laughs> there may be even an updated version for better performances and uh, so for that i just can't rate them higher than what i already did in the video so well done uh, view trucks and uh, really i just want to see more uh, lenses from you guys and especially i want to see some pro version for the full frame cameras currently you have some pro stuff for the APS-C line but no pro line for the uh, 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 full frame lenses so I would like to see that. And of course, like I mentioned already, I would like to see some MFT lenses from you guys as well, you know, and that, that would complete everything that I have already. Uh, that would be cool. Um, I can't wait for that. If you do, let me know. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, thank you guys for watching. And yeah, you know what to do now. Subscribe and remember, yeah, stay tuned for any future Lauer offering because I really have another one, which I'm going to show you in the very near future. <laughs> Until next time, stay creative, keep shooting. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye now.